Hey there, hope you're doing well. Magic Flying Potato here, and uh, as you can see, I am playing the New World Beta, and what I'm going to try to do is put together a bunch of short guides uh, for beginners to kind of help you understand what's going on with the game. So if you have any questions or comments about this video right here, go ahead and leave them below, and I will try to get back to you, answer your questions as, as soon as I can. So let's go ahead and get to it. So what we're going to do this video is I'm going to talk about the uh, trade skills and the gathering portion of the game. Uh, that is to include crafting your first uh, tools for gathering. So as you can see, I got the flint, mining axe, logging axe, and harvesting sickle. But what I wanna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead because part of the very first quest is to craft a skinning knife. So once you get into the game, you're gonna end up on the beach just like this. Suggestions for, for when you first get in the game, just gather everything that you possibly can. And the way you can tell what to gather is there's two different ways you can see it. See, if you look to the left of me, you can see uh, if you hold the E key, you'll pick up the flint. And you also see that little circle right there. Whenever you pass these circles, those are items of interest that you can gather, pick up, or interact with. So what we're going to do is just, uh, just go ahead and start picking up rocks. And as you move up into the beach, that is where your first... Uh, your first quest is going to be at, I've, I've already done it, but I'm going to just show you how to, how to do the um, craft the, the skinning knife. We're going to go ahead and interact with these bushes and gather, gather green wood. And then as we come over here, the way to craft, there's a couple of ways, areas that you can craft items. At the basic campfire, like this one right here, or when you create your first... Um, your first camp, those are areas where you can do basic crafting. Once you get into towns, which I will show you in a bit, there are areas for, for continuing to craft. But we're going to go ahead and just do the uh, the uh, survival tools. Uh, we need to make the skinning knife, which is according to the first quest. So anything that is in white means that you have the resources to craft them. Anything in red, if you click on it, it will show you what you are missing to craft such an item. So we're going to go ahead and craft this skinning knife. Crafting is very simple in this game. So as you can see, it is crafted. Uh, so you'll see four different options here. Uh, exit the crafting station. Continue to craft. Set as active tool and salvage. So this one right here means that whatever I just created, I could actually set it and put it onto my person, onto my character. If, if I just exit out, it means it will go into their inventory. Setting this as an active tool or active weapon or active piece of clothing actually equips it to your character. Salvaging means uh, you crafted it and you want to um, you want to take it apart and you will get some resources back. This will help you right here if you are trying to build up your, your crafting skill set. Uh, so what I want to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and set this as my active tool and I will show you how it, where it goes at. Because it doesn't show you when you do it. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. And we're going to hit the tab key to go into our character menu. So if you look down in this section right here, this is uh, where the uh, skinning knife just went. And that means it is actively on you. Uh, these tools right here, which I have created earlier... Are not are not equipped and let me go ahead and show you what that means right there so with an axe you cut down the trees so you come up to the tree and you see no equipped axe so this is where I was talking about in your inventory if, if you don't put it active it, it you cannot use it so we're gonna go ahead go back into the inventory go ahead and just a uh, couple ways you can if you if you see under the actions if you double click you could uh, equip it or you could just drag it into the slot I'm just going to go ahead and double uh, click that and drag that over here and double click that. So just to show you the different ways of equipping it and um, we'll go ahead and go back to the tree. And now you can see I can interact with it and start chopping it down. Uh, gathering resources is extremely simple in this game. You don't have to uh, equip each item in your hand as long as you have it active in your um, on your person like I just showed you you just go ahead and use it when you come up to the thing that you want to uh, gather resources from as you can see there are a couple other things out here um, let me see if I can uh, go ahead and 
find a rock to chop. Chop. Find a rock to gather. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So here's a boulder. Again, just hit your E key. As you can see, the flint pickaxe automatically equips. So this is this is with anything for gathering. Let it be, uh, say, one of these black boards. If, if I wanted to skin the black boar, all I do is go up to him and hit E, and it will tell you that you're able to gather it or not. Same with, uh, there is also uh, herbs out here that you can gather, and that is what your sickle is for, is for gathering herbs quicker. Here we go right here. Hip. So I'll go ahead, as you see, hit the E key, and it just starts gathering them. Very simple, uh, easy to do. As I'm gathering this hemp, I'm going to go ahead and show you the map and show you a couple other features about uh, gathering resources within the game. So if you hit the M key, M for Mike, uh, you'll see that this is the map. And right here is your resource location. So if you click on this, it will show you uh, the different areas, kind of like uh, the forest, grasslands, highland, marsh. I have not seen marshes actually on the map that look like this. Uh, shrublands, coastal, and beach. And it shows you where the basic resources are at for these things. And that's where you can find them. Uh, shrubs, I mean, you can find these everywhere, the greenwood. Um, so just that that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for specific resources. This is where they are relatively located. Not all the time. Sometimes you can find them in other areas. See, and what else? Uh, so there is another key thing that we are going to look at. I'm not going to go ahead and, um, like, skin the animals or anything like that. But my suggestion when you first start is gather everything. Uh, gather, gather, gather. Pick up everything, chop down trees, because that builds experience very quickly. And also, if you come back over to your trade skills, as you can see right here, this is, as you increase your trade skill, these are the trees that you will be able to harvest as you advance up to, I think, I'm not sure if it, if it caps at 175 or it goes higher. But yeah, so you're able to do young trees until you hit level 50. Once you hit 50, then you do mature trees, 100. You get the, uh, the, the rye wood trees. And right here, this is something I am going to sign out of this account and sign into another account and show you what this tracking means and show you how it works. So uh, bear with me. Hang on one second. Okay, so I logged back in with my higher level character, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what the tracking of items is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the K key, and under trade skills, as you can see, the, my, my levels are a lot higher. Um, I'm going to just pick um, harvesting just to show you what I'm talking about with tracking. So as you, as you harvest, uh, it shows you what plants are gatherable at what levels. So farm plants, um, which look like this, are gatherable at... Uh, level zero so you can gather them you don't need a level and they're tracked at level 20 so once you hit level 20 of your um your get out your harvesting these will start tracking on your um compass above your your in-game screen and i'll show you that in one second because right here is what i'm going to talk about you can gather hip at level zero and it's tracked at level 25 so once you hit level 25 this will show up on your tracking as well, uh, and so on and so forth for all the items. Say this magical creatures looks like this, gatherable at that level, and it's tracked at 175. Magical plants, you can gather them at level 30, and they're tracked at level 45. So for hemp, for example, um, it's tracked at level 45. Now what that means is if we'll go ahead and... Go back out. Now, if you look at the top compass on my screen, tracking items means they will show up there once you get in with a specific uh, distance of them. So as you can see, there are two pot plant symbols. They're hemp, one to the left of the E and one to the right of the E. That means I am in within a vicinity of those plants, no matter what direction I'm facing. Okay, so as you can see, they do disappear as you pass them by. But right there, as you can see, they're right there. And the plant is actually right here. So if I harvest one, this one that I'm pointing at right there will disappear. And then it shows another one. So that is when you, when you, uh, any resource that you're gathering, uh, no matter what 
trade skill it's under uh, for logging, mining, fishing, tracking and skinning and harvesting. That's what it means when it's a trackable item. So say we're at mining. Uh, so basic items like regular rocks won't be trackable. Regular trees won't be trackable. Uh, there's a lot of things that won't be trackable. But these items right here, when you reach a certain level of gathering them, and it says unlocked at this or tracked at this, that's what tracking means. It shows up on that top radar, as you can see right there at the top screen. So there's nothing around me right now. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see uh, right there, I'm going to point it at it with the compass right there. Uh, there is a trackable plant. It is a magical plant from the symbol. If I open up the map, it, the map will actually show me where this is at and what it is. So uh, it's if, if I go back to my regular screen, look down, that's the plant that's being tracked right now. They automatically track. You do not have to do any settings or anything like that to track any of the items that say they are trackable. And if I look over, as you can also see, now there is a turkey that's on the, the, uh, the trackable compass up top. Let's go ahead and... Now the turkey does not show up because it is an animal and it does move around. Uh, let me go back into my gathering skills uh, and it's under tracking and skinning. Right here, small prey. So rabbits and turkeys will show up under there. Rabbits have their own symbol now. Uh, they have a little rabbit symbol and they are tracked at 25. As you can see, medium prey is tracked at 50, which includes different things. So let me see if I can go over here and find this turkey. And as you can see, uh, a bunch more hemp plants have showed up. And they are, they're also I, they're right there in front of me. Some of them are brownish and some of them are purple on top. Go ahead and look on my map. See those. So some things are showing up on the map and other things are not. I think the, the higher level items do show up on the map while the lower level ones do not. As you can see right here in the distance, there is the turkey. Go ahead and just one shot him and come over here and gather him. And this is why I'm saying gather everything you can because no matter where you're at, you're going to get some sort of XP for for gathering most things. Now, there are some things that you won't get XP for. Uh, so, yeah, that that's just, again, and then once you get to a town, you can start... Um, you can start ref uh, refining them and crafting them. And those will be different videos as well as I will talk about this of uh, crafting and gathering. So uh, this is, the, again, very basic video, very quick tutorial on resource gathering and tracking it up on your compass and just um, the overall basics of the gathering skill set. And if you click on each one, it will tell you what you need to gather it with and and what percentage uh, your speed bonus is and just, you know, just the different basic information on this. So, again, hopefully this helps. Uh, again, and, and if you have any questions or comment, please leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. This may and probably could change be, uh, throughout after the, the uh, actual release of the game. Um, if it does, I will update the video. And uh, if you guys like this video and want to see more content, please go ahead and subscribe. That would be great. Once again, I am Magic Flying Potato. You guys have a great time out there exploring the new world. And uh, I am Oot.